Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video, we will look how we can use OTP. Let's get started. So what is the OTP? OTP uh, is one time password in the description. For example, you want to get in a page, but uh, this page is a secure page. You, in this scenario, you can use OTP. You can create one time password and you can verify that password. And after that, you can log into that or use the OTP. There are a lot of libraries for use the OTP. I am using this library. You can use on the GitHub. And of course you can use okay after the implemented this uh this library i am using otp quotes in here in here i am creating a random secret key using uh 10 letters using this english alphabet and after that take passport token uh, that set token click listen and in here i am uh displaying a uh, displaying uh, a screen as you can see uh, my otp secret key is here right now okay i created this otp and i displayed uh, on the screen uh, these codes are here message otp token that takes equals to message okay when i click the dismiss nothing happens but when i click this uh, login button as you can see, there is a one of message. Please enter the uh, your six digits code. Okay, what is the this code? Can you uh, can you write this secret key in this and letters secret key to my backend panel? Uh, my backend panel will give to me a a code. Let's look. I copied the code and I am logging my uh, backend system and testing in here and as you can see this is my let's write this code in here click login as you can see i can successfully access the new page okay let's look the process in here as you can see this is my 10 letters otp secret key and when user the login button login button is here verify button uh, this code for copy this uh Copy that secret key, 10 letter secret key, and verify click this in here in this function. OTP code value equals to our and the text value. This value is a six letters value. And if it's, it is empty, please t uh, enter a code. If it is not, I'm using OTP.verify function. And first constructor value is our 10 letter secret and seconds uh, we are using the otp time based that's why i have to enter the current time current system time and period 16 60 uh, one minute otp code value uh, what is this uh, this otp value is uh, my backend system panel uh, give it to me that six digits actually this is the otp type and if it is the verify success, go to the another page. If it is not, there is an incorrect digits key. Okay, this is it actually. There is a one more uh, thing I have to talk about. Uh, I didn't use the Google authentication for, for create uh, uh, six digits. Uh, I used my uh, backend system. In this scenario, the Google Authenticator is actually my backend system. But of course, you can use the Google Authenticator, uh, Google Authenticator also. Thanks for watching guys, uh, see you in the next video.